Hi guys, Top Pops here, and today we're going pop hunting. Today we're here with Mom, she's driving today, and we're going over to Hot Topic. I also have to go over to Boathouse to get a new backpack for when we go to Toy Fair. I want to get the biggest one possible that we can find, and we found that they have some, they have some pretty big champion backpacks over there, so we're going to go over there and see what they've got. Um, it's to fit my gimbal inside because I don't have enough room in the backpacks that I have right now to put my gimbal, my camera, and my laptop, so i got to work on that because when we go to the convention, I need a spot to put all this stuff. But anyways, guys, back to pop hunting. Um, we're going over to Hot Topic because they got in some good stuff today. Can you guys see that there? They got in the Toy Story ones, Dr. Seuss, some more Waddles, and then the last one is Android 16 or 18, Android 18, sorry. Um, I'm looking for the Toy Story ones today, so we're hoping to do some Toy Story hunting. I really want Wheezy, Bullseye, and then I think Bo Peep would be a cool one, and then they have some other ones as well, which would be fun when we go over there. But anyways, guys, let's get started. Okay guys, so we made it to the mall. First we're gonna go into Boathouse because I need to find something to fit this into for a backpack. It's just the case I brought it today, just so I could see if it would fit. It's not that big, but it does not fit in my backpacks. Then after that, we're going over to Hot Topic. Okay guys, so we, are in uh, we are a champion. We are getting a champion bag right now. We're in Boathouse. We found this bag. It fits the gimbal. It'll also fit the laptop. Mm -hmm. And then I can even the slide can the camera, on. even like right here or yeah. in the front or something. Nice and we've pocket. got lots of pockets. Yeah, I, uh, I want to get a sweater today as well. I don't know why. I kind of like, I'm not, not going to get a girl sweater. Don't worry about that. But there is some nice stuff over here. Um, but maybe for now I'm just going to get that. But uh, it's really cool that we found one. It's cool. So anyways guys, let's keep going. Okay guys, so I got the camera bag. It's perfect. It fits great. Now we are going over to... Hot topic to get those Toy Story Pops. Okay guys, so we are in the back now. And let's show off the Pops that they got. So they are three for 33. I'm gonna save those ones till last to show them off here. But we've got Shiro, we've got the Pop Protectors, the random ones down bottom here. Uh, we've got the Dragon Ball Z Android 18. That was one of the new ones. Waddles was one of the new ones that they got in again. Uh, they got Dr. Seuss in. Now I can't, I, uh, I can't buy this one today guys because I ordered it on Hot Topic's website. Um, I'm really sad that I can't. It's Pop Icons number three. Um, I'm trying to finish this set, so I have it coming, so don't worry about that, I've got it. I just can't get it today. Um, but we did get, over here guys, which we were gonna get Wheezy, Bo Peep, Slinky Dog, and Bullseye. They have all four of them still. This is super exciting, because I really want those ones. And then once I get the full set, I wanna do a review on them. Um, let's see what we got here. We would just need Mrs. Nesbitt, wow. and that's it. Was that a hard one? Uh, I haven't seen it yet because I've only seen these ones, but yeah. I don't think they're too hard. They're just they have to come out now You know what I mean? We've only seen them in a couple stores um, Yes, they've got Norbert Daggett, Ickes, the Young Bucks, two-pack up there, Little Shop of Horrors um, Some other ones over here. I know you guys want to see the Kingdom Hearts 3 stuff No, I, I've had it. I, I've had it for a while now. I ordered it online because I thought it was gonna be hard to get um, But ours has had a lot of them. So if you guys want one uh, they're still at your local Hot Topic, probably. Um, there's Kingdom Hearts 3. But anyways, guys, let's pick out some good boxes, and I'll show these ones closer up when we get home. Guys, I don't normally show these off, but I want to show off the Pocket Pops here. They've got a bunch of Elvira, um, Soldier 76, Pennywise with Wig, that one's cool, Goose the Cat, Verse, Captain Marvel, some other ones, Captain Marvel again. Ooh, Nurse Bot Baymax. That one's weird, because it's the glow-in-the-dark version of it, so that's neat. Um, and they've also got a bunch of mystery minis over here. They've got the new Winnie the Pooh mist, uh, mini vinyls here. And uh, they got some other really cool ones like Christopher Robin and that. Um, and then some other mystery things down here. I'm not going to pick up any today because we're getting the Toy Story ones. Uh, but anyways guys, let's get out of here. Okay guys, so we just left Hot Topic and I'll show you what we got when we get home. Guys, I'm in Old Navy right now. They have Finn and then I ran into one storm and I was wondering why it was still here. And then I, I looked at the box. This thing is... This thing looks like your dog ate it up and you you weren't lying about it. I don't know, I just thought it was funny. I'd show that off. Uh, it's not great. I'm not picking it up because I already have it, but anyways, there it is right there. Okay guys, so we are back from the store. I want to show off the pops that I got, but first we're going to get into the backpack just because I want to get that out of the way. Um, so I picked that up because I had to get a couple things into my backpack that I didn't fit in my normal one. Um, I had my... Uh, my gimbal, which I needed the case to have with all the stuff in it. I needed the laptop to fit in there for when we're on the plane. And then I also needed um, my microphone to be in there and then my camera. So there was a lot of stuff that had to fit. And they had the champion bag that they that I knew would fit everything, which was nice. They had it over at Boathouse, so that was perfect. I got this one right here. It's pretty nice, actually. It's got the top flap. Um, it opens up, and there is a drawstring in there, so if I wanted to tighten it and keep it closed with everything in it, that's nice. Um, it wasn't that bad either. I don't think it was that expensive, um, but still, really cool backpack. Super pumped about getting this one. It's the camo one, so nobody will be able to see it on my back. Um, but anyways, guys, um, I bought this one so it fits everything.
point. I, I tried it out, it fits everything perfectly, so that's awesome. Um, but let's get into the pops that I got today, guys, because I wanted to show these off. So I picked up four. Um, it was three for 33, and then it was, I want, and there was four of the um, pops that I wanted to get from uh, Toy Story, so they didn't have the, the like, eh, enough for me to get six so I, I just didn't even try for the other three for 33 but i did get a hot cash for it that'll be useful i believe in march i think it's for march i don't know anyways um they, we have that there but let's get into the pops that i got today we'll take them out of the box show them off let's start with this one here which is bo peep um i really wanted this pop this was a toy story one that i'd been looking for again guys i had been looking for pretty much all of the toy story ones and uh, this was one that i had really wanted so let me pop some out of its box quick so i can show it off um, Bo Peep is a really nice figure. Um, I'm glad that they made her. Like, finally they did. Um, but here she is there, guys. This is one of those ones that I really wanted, just because I wanted the set for the original ones as well. Um, they made new ones in 2015 for the 20th anniversary. I believe it was 2015. Um, I think it was 2015 for the 20th anniversary. Um, but that was that was when I got Rex and I bought uh, Buzz and those ones got super expensive after a while Buzz and Woody aren't that expensive but Ham and Rex are um, I have Rex and Ham and I'll show off the or I have Rex and Buzz Lightyear I'll show those off after um, but let me get through these ones first next up guys we have Slinky Dog um, this one I was also very excited about I'm a little sad because I got a, I got one with a scuff on the window um, I don't really mind it's not that bad uh, but there is a small one on the front. They only had a couple slinkies left, so I'm glad that I could get one that was in all right condition. I really just wanted the the, uh, the actual figure to be okay. And if I really look at it, I probably I could, I could probably get that off if I just scrape the inside a little bit. Yeah, you can get that off, no problem. If there's ever a smudge on the inside from the paint on the figures, guys, just go on the inside with your nail or something sharp enough to scrape off, but not sharp enough to scratch the uh, the box or the insert, and you're good to get it off right away. What I love about the Slinky is that um, he's got that kind of like metallic-ish color to go with the uh, the Slinky part in the middle. What I also like is that they added the rolly wheels on the bottom of his feet to go with the actual um, toy. If any of you guys have a Slinky dog, um, they actually gave it the wheels on the bottom, which I think look really nice. Also, the ears feel kind of leathery. They're not real leather, but they're feeling like they give it that bit of a texture. Um, which I think looks really cool. It would have been cool if you could pull it in and out, but I feel like that'd be kind of weird. Um, the way I thought they would do Slinky, which I thought would have been cool, is if they put it in a sideways box and had it so it was kind of like Cat Dog, where the, it's like two pieces like this, um, and made it almost like the the butt went across and it was like stretched out farther. I think that would have been cool. Um, but still, this is a really awesome way to do the Slinky one. What does it say on the side here? Uh, Toy Story, Toy Story Slinky Dog Pop Disney Pixar. Huh. Anyways, guys, there is Slinky Dog right there. Very cool pop. Super excited to have this one for the collection. Um, now let's move on to the next one that I got, which is Wheezy. Um, Wheezy is another one of those ones that I really wanted. His singing voice towards the end when he sings, You've Got a Friend in Me was really cool. Um, so I'm glad they gave him the microphone for that because it's kind of, you know, like, that's like his big, big moment in the movie almost when he starts singing. Um, so really cool that I got this one. You can also see that they gave him the voice box inside that's kind of Wheezy. That's why it's called Wheezy. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's like right on the inside. Instead of it being like that orange color, it's a little bit of a white one. And it's got his uh, voice box inside of there. Very cool. Um, they also gave the little holes on the microphone, which look nice as well. They gave him that little nub of a tail, which I think is really funny. And I don't think there are any figures out there of Wheezy, or not that I know of anyway. So it's cool that they have this one. So if you want a Wheezy figure, it pretty much looks just like him. So that's neat to have this. Um, yeah, I'm really pumped about having this one. This looks great, and it looks great with the rest of them. I'm super glad that they started to make more characters, and they didn't just redo, uh, you know, like, Buzz and stuff like that. They, they actually took the time to sculpt new figures, make new characters, and I'm super excited about these Toy Story ones. Now, the last one that I think is really awesome is Bullseye. Um, my favorite part is how they put Andy on the bottom of his hooves, um, like they do in the actual, uh, movie, or when Andy does that. Um, very cool. T Bullseye is one of my favorites out of this one. I would say out of this wave, it's probably Wheezy or Bullseye um, for my top two favorites. Just because of how cool Bullseye is, and I'm super pumped to see if I can get the uh, flocked Bullseye coming to the Funko shop soon. Um, I don't know when it's coming out. It could be today um, at 2 p.m. EST, if you guys are wondering. I'm not sure when it is, um, but check the Funko shop today, guys, because it could be. Um, but yeah, very cool figure. I like the way they gave him that little bit of like, it's almost like a, 
like a velvet texture. What do you call that? Like corduroy. Corduroy texture is what I'm going for here, not velvet. Um, but yeah, it's got like that little bit of like lines all over it instead of just making them flat. Can you guys see that all right? It's like got little lines all over it, which makes it feel like it's really cool texture. Um, and I like these figures a lot. It says A-N-D-Y right across it. Very cool. Um, yeah, so these are all, oh, this is funny. It says Funko LCC 2018. So these were designed back in 2018. Still, very cool figures. I'm super pumped to have these in the collection. Now let me grab the Rex and the um, Buzz Pops that I have because I want to show those ones off to go with these guys. Now they... They did not make these guys for the new wave. They made Mrs. Nesbitt is the only one that I'm missing from the new wave. Now I kind of want to go back and try and get the other ones as well. Um, but here is the Buzz Lightyear that I have. This is the one to go with the 20th anniversary. Um, right there, very cool figure. I think this might have been, what, what does it say on the front? No, it just says 20th anniversary. I wish it said what year it was. Um, Cause that'd be nice to know. I think it was either 2017 or 2015 was the year they did this one. Um, but still, very cool. There's Buzz. And then I also have Rex right here sitting next to him. Um, so I have these two out of the set. Um, so now I just need Woody and Ham. I don't have any Woody Pops, so it'd be really cool to have a Woody in the set. Um, but yeah, guys, this is every Toy Story Pop that I own, besides the 9-inch Buzz Lightyear up top there. <laughs> yeah, I may or may not have forgot a bunch of Toy Story Pops. And I, I had one. you had one job, Tristan, and you forgot three of them. Okay, guys, so uh, let me just... Ugh. Anyways, let me just tell you what I forgot. I forgot the Green Army Man. I forgot the metallic and the normal one. The one was for the uh, Toy Story Land opening up in Disney, and uh, it's pretty cool. Um, the one was just a normal one that was exclusive to Emerald City Comic Con, and then we also have the Pizza Planet truck. And they're really awesome figures, and I forgot to put them in. Stupid, Tristan. Stupid. I'm not going to grab him. That's a lot of work. Um, but anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys like it where I actually go out and hunt for a certain set more and go out and get a hunt, I know this won't happen that often. Usually it'll be like I just go around and find out what's n new and out in the you know community of pops and stuff like that. Um, but when I can, I'll try to do more videos like this where I actually know that there's a set out and then I can go hunt for it. Like today with the Toy Story ones, I knew they were going to have them. So I was like, let's just go get them and then we'll come back and show them off for you guys. Um, I try to do that as much as I can, but sometimes it doesn't work out like that. So today we did it. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys want to see more from me in the future, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, do all that. But this has been another episode of Top Pops Popsters. Thanks for watching.